Hello everyone, my name is Anna Welch and I show how to cook gluten-free, healthy, delicious foods. And today I will show how to make my gluten-free southern cornbread. Cornbread is a quick bread. The history of cornbread goes back centuries to Native Americans. Early U.S. settlers have learned their recipes from various Indian tribes and eventually they developed their own which to be passed down from generation to generation. Today there are primarily two types of cornbread, northern and southern. Northern cornbread is more like a cake, it's lighter and sweeter. Southern cornbread is denser and uses very little or no sugar at all. Southerners eat their cornbread instead of wheat bread and the reason for it is that corn is much cheaper and easier to grow in southern climate. My mother-in-law, a southern lady, used to make cornbread for dinner almost daily and she still, like many southerners, enjoys leftover cornbread with a glass of cold milk for her snack. When I tried cornbread for the first time, I fell in love with its taste but it never left me feeling well. Later, I discovered that I have developed intolerance to gluten and I have developed my own version of gluten-free southern cornbread. Let me show you how to make it. I will use one cup of cornmeal, three quarter cup of brown rice flour, one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, three quarter teaspoons of salt, one and a half cups of kefir, you may also use buttermilk, two eggs and one stick of butter for eight tablespoons. We will start with preheating our oven to 425 degrees. Traditionally, cornbread is baked in cast iron skillets 10 or 12 inch, depending on the thickness of the bread you'd like. And the skillet gets preheated along with an oven. I will use a 12 inch non-stick pan. I will preheat my pan on top of the stove on a very low heat. And while I'm preheating, I will melt my butter in it. Now we will make our batter. First, we will mix our dry ingredients and then we will add our wet ingredients and very last we will add our melted butter. Cornmeal, flour, xanthan gum, baking powder, baking soda, salt, we'll add our wet ingredients. kefir and our butter is melted and ready to go in and we will grease our pan now we will mix our batter really really well our batter looks really good and we will pour our batter into our hot greased pan We will bake it for 25 minutes. Our timer went off, which means our cornbread is ready. We will let it rest for a couple of minutes. 
Well, we transferred our pie onto the plate. We're gonna slice it to see how it looks inside and check for the crust. Well, our cornbread is ready and it's thin, just like my family likes it. It looks really nice and it has what's most important, nice color, crispy crust. And that's what Southerners absolutely love. We're gonna give it a try. We'll butter it generously. That's what gives it the amazing taste. Southern heaven, very soft and moist and crispy, beautiful bread. I guarantee you that no one will be able to tell that this cornbread is gluten free. I suggest you to bake it with me and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and you guys take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye. You want to try a bite? Come on, try, try. Mm. So good. <laughs>